Southbound rolling toward the 36 highway line. Double wide piggyback trailer passing to my side. When I make town, I'm not sure what I'll do. I could win this race, but I won't lose. Breaking up is on my phone. Falling down, still staring, should have never got up. What's up, Mr. Lewis? Thanks, man. Where are you off to this weekend? Oh, I'll just headed down to Fort Walton. There's a nice. You've never been? Bubs, you could drive down there. Yeah, well, have a good one, all right? Thanks again. something, you better grab it and take it in tomorrow. Hey, uh, you mind if I take this? Take it. Frank's back. I really don't give a shit, but I know your mama does, which means when you see him, she's gonna find out about it, she's gonna call me and complain about it, and that makes me give a shit. And giving a shit just pisses me off, so don't do it. Anything else, Grant? Yes, yeah, smartass, your girlfriend called. Hey, just calling you back. Down here, I'm on them. You need me. Point being, I heard he's back in town, and I just thought maybe you'd want to know. Hey. What'd she want? Oh, who knows? Maybe she's cheating on you. <laughs> Stepping out. <laughs> you know all about that, wouldn't you, Gary? No. Hey, Ma, how many of his exes use the term trading up when describing why they dumped him? Well, actually, bubs, trading up got trumped by unemployed every time. <laughs> How's it going? Great. I ain't had one all day. Proud of you. I don't know how you do it, though. Cold turkey. I could do it. I have to use the gum or something. Eh? Whatever works. What y'all talking about? Mary just quit smoking. And to up to Annie, Gary and I are betting that she can last for the next couple of months without sliding. And seeing as how Gary hasn't had a job or money since the three of us was in high school. Hey, what about when I was... Selling meth don't count. Anyway, the wager is, whoever loses has to clean that John back there. I'm betting she can do it, but Gary, being the supportive optimist he is, is betting she can't. And Kenny, meanwhile, my poor restroom's been back there festering for a week. Is that what that was? Yeah, and Gary's unholy addiction to chili dogs. <laughs> She's right about that. <laughs> I do love the chili dogs. <laughs> what? They're good. I know, I know, not the most reputable source. But Gary does have his finger on the pulse of that community. You mean the drunks? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Ma. Grant told me the same thing today. Listen, Bubs, I know that we've gone in circles with this in the past, but I was just hoping that we could nip it in the bud now and be done with it. Ma, come on. Just promise me that you won't see him this time, all right? Go ahead, Jess. Right away. 
Hello? Jess, I'm, I'm, I'm finishing up. I'm finishing up right now. I called you back. J Hello? What? How long has this been going on? A while. And we're moving to Tampa. Jesus Christ, Jess, is there, is there anything else? No, that's it. What the hell's in Tampa? Aaron got a job there, and I'm going with him. A job? Aaron ain't worked a day in his life. He's gonna end up at his daddy's goddamn dealership just like his brother. Well, at least he's trying something different. He ain't trying to do nothing but get in your pants. You know what? Screw you, Bubs. We love each other, and we're making a move, which is a hell of a lot more than I can say for you. Yeah? What's that supposed to mean? You haven't changed since high school. You have the same job, the same friends, and you still live with your mama. It's fucking sad. Yeah? What about Kenny? He still lives with his pops. <laughs> well, then you two deserve each other. Hey, that is not fair. You know my situation, all right? You're right. I do. But that's not what I want in a boyfriend. Do you know why I stayed with you? I thought I saw something. Anytime you'd talk about Frank or where someone was going at work, you'd, you'd just light up. I thought that maybe one day you'd warm to the idea yourself and we'd actually be some of the people to leave this place, but you never did. You're going nowhere, bubs. And if I stay, that's exactly where I'll end up too. got to do that out in the open for all to see, don't you? Well, I was hoping you might catch a contact high, relax a little. You know, Frank, it's a wonder they ain't run your ass up yet. You know, with a mug like yours, it's a wonder Millie ain't run your ass off yet. <laughs> well, that won't be happening anytime soon. Oh, yeah? What, you got a chain to the deck again? No, retard. We're getting married. Oh, really? He asked me a couple months ago. You know he likes guys, right? Fuck off, Frank. Robert, he's joking. No, it's always the same shit with this guy. And I'm getting tired of it. Stay away from my fiance. She ain't your type. Not my type. <laughs> You're a juvenile, Frank, and a delinquent at that. And by some miraculous act of God, you're not locked up or dead, but that's where your luck runs out. Because you know what? You're just a functioning alcoholic with no friends to speak of. And with the exception of your grandson, the little family you do have don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, but I got a heart on it won't quit. All natural, too. I'm warning you, Frank. Listen, Rob, even if I gave a shit, it wouldn't matter. Hell yeah? And why's that? Ladies just love outlaws. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell's going on here? Oh, hey, bubs. Uh, Robbie here's just showing me some new dance steps. Pretty girly, actually. <laughs> Tell your grandfather to watch himself. Hey, Rob. Oh, God. Tell him to get some friggin' underpants. That's disgusting. It's called air conditioning, pal. God damn it. The stick's so far up his ass, it's tickling his goddamn tonsils. How's your mama? It's fine. She's, uh, she's quitting smoking. Well, good for her. Built the habit. Oh, got something for you. How was it? Fucking fantastic. Vicious reef called Cayo Paraiso. It's like paradise. Catching bluefin tuna, marlin lobster. I ate like a goddamn king. And the women. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, they'd loathe to call themselves working girls, but we've been Catholic and all, but you flash a little American coin, that'll do anything you want. Yeah, hey, uh, you ever gonna write something on me? Like what? Never mind. So how's your lady? Broke up. Yeah, it's about goddamn time. 
Hot bottom southern bells running around. I'm surprised you ain't done it sooner. Actually, she, uh, she left me for some asshole. Hmm. Southern bells on spring break or something. What are you leaving here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Shit, son. I just got back. Other than that jackass across the way, and now possibly I ain't had time to wear out my welcome yet. Besides, I was kind of thinking about sticking around for a while. Doing what? Anything that moves. <laughs> no, I'll just do a little drinking and fishing with you. Maybe learning to play us here guitar. I always wanted to be one of those laid back country pickers like a Whalen Jennings. Why? Just wondering. You know what we need to do, right? Run the street and disturb some down peace. Kenny, man, I can't. Man, can't never could. Look, the only way you get over this broad is by getting over on another one. That's the beautiful thing about being single. Holler at a hoochie with a proper ass, take her home, knock the motherfucking dust off of it, wake up in the morning and do it all over again. Plus, Cora's mean is out. I hate to leave her hanging. She is. Ain't coming? No, I told her to leave that knucklehead at home. Oh, shit, Kenny. Why don't you say so? Let me get my keys. Hey, you know sisters off limits, right? Right? Especially when they're my own. <laughs> Can I ask you something? You thought about leaving? I'm going where? I don't know. Anywhere. No, not really. Why? Well, sometimes I think there's got to be, uh, more to it than just, just this. It ain't us. Hmm? It ain't us, man. Look, we the have-nots. Now, I'm not trying to say I feel sorry for us. I'm just saying we don't have the opportunity that most folks have. The only way we lead this motherfucker is by joining the army or playing ball. Now, the military ain't for us, and basketball, shit, we get past high school. What we do is, we stay on our grind, play the hand we was dealt, and try to get our dicks wet along the way. It's like our folks, man. They was born and raised here. They gonna die here. What the fuck are you two doing? What? You were busy, we were thirsty, so we helped ourselves. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. So what you got over there? It's good. They all just turned 21. At least that's what their IDs say. <laughs> Meaning they never been here before. Meaning. They don't have a clue who we are. Dude, I've been feeding them every girly-ass fruit, fruit, fruit drink I could think of ever since we opened. Fucking T-Ball. No, 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 yeah, just give me a couple minutes, OK? I think I'm, uh, I think I'm making some headway with one of them. You got a couple. All right. Hey, man, I'm sorry to hear about you and Jess. You know, I always kind of thought she was cute. So, uh, I don't know, things don't work out between her and Aaron. Think maybe Beers I Beers and uh, shots, asshole. Three of them. And no, the third one is not for you, you insisted a prick. I'd be careful, Kenny. Joe's been known to spit in people's drinks for less than that. Fuck a damn bitch. Fuck, Fuck a damn, damn bitch. bitch. Hey, uh, why don't y'all go find a table? I'll meet up with you. I, I thought you were gonna give me a couple minutes. After that just shit? Fuck no, pal. You lucky I don't throw you a beat. What a hoe. Yeah, but you know what? It's, uh, it's got me thinking. About what, getting a blood test? No, well, yeah, now, but uh, <laughs> more than that, you know, about what's next. I mean, she's right. I, I, I can't do what I've been doing forever. What are you thinking? I don't know, just sort of weighing my options right now, I guess. But uh, but no, but that, how, how, how are you doing? How's, uh, how's work? Work's work. Same old drunks, just a different day. You know, Kitty and I have been meaning to come down there. Yeah, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. Only been sending Bob down there for two years. Corey, mark my words, I'm coming down. It's all right. I ain't really the place for you to meet nice girls anyway. You know your brother, you think he gives a shit about that? <laughs> I was talking about you, Bubs. Yeah, well, you work down there, don't you? So, um, how's, uh, how's Hayes? Y'all still, y'all still doing okay? Yeah, I guess. Some days are good, some days less than. 
Sounds like a blast. <laughs> so where is he tonight? Staying in. When Kenny called, he didn't really have a formulated plan about this evening. He was like, motherfucking bitch, dump my boy. We gotta do something shit. <laughs> That's good, I like it. So, not having a locked locale was reason enough for Hayes to bail. You sure about that? Excuse me. I didn't know you'd be here. Didn't think I was gonna be here. That's your excuse. You believe that? Uh, uh, I don't either. Of course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, whoa, you crazy goddamn Hey! Bitch. Man, this shit don't even concern you, bubs. Yeah? Well, it does now. Ugh. Enough! Corey, calm down. Hey, get the fuck out of here! These are mine now, bitch. Let's go. I want to go home. Come on. What about Kenny? So you like chicken and beer and get your ass banged? <laughs> I think I'm in love. The worst part is, this ain't even the first time it's happened. And like an idiot, I believed him when he said he wouldn't do it again. I'm kind of surprised by it, actually. Coming up, you never put up with no more shit, so I don't know why you're putting up with his now. Neither do I. At least you threw your keys at him. Shut up. That's all I could find. Thanks for sticking up for me, though. So, uh, you be all right tonight? You know what, uh... He won't come home tonight. Okay. I'll let her out. What? Go, I guess. You just said that... That he won't be home tonight. So, what do you want to do? Right now? Mm -hmm. There's a pretty big difference between now. Uh, what I want to do and... What I should do. Morning FLA. Amongst a dozen lakes. Raised against the waves. Then moved on. Why'd you ask me when I was leaving the other day? I was just busting his ball. Come on now, Bob. Just dumb because you said I wasn't going nowhere. Thing is, I've always been curious about leaving. I just never really considered it an option. Thinking about it now? A little, yeah. Son, if you hesitant because of your mama, I'm going to shit. You too old. Hey, 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 you don't know my situation. Besides, ain't that. There's a girl. Girl? Find one of those anywhere. I like this one. Look, Bubs, chasing tail is fun. Hell, it's one of my favorite pastimes. Well, you're talking about your life here. You know, you only got one shot at this thing. 
believe in reincarnation, then you can take your sweet ass time. But you got dreams, you go after them. Don't let some skirt hold you back. It's the thing. She just ain't some skirt, Frank. She's well, I've compared girls to my whole life. It's, it's complicated. This uh, complication got a name? Yeah. <clears throat> Corey. She's got a boyfriend. Mm, speed bump. What else? You know my friend Kenny? Hmm. It's his sister. Interesting. And? And, uh, sort of slept with her. <laughs> you sort of slept with her? Shit, son. You remind me more of myself every goddamn day. <laughs> what do I do? Well, it ain't brain surgery. You gotta let her know. Ask her out. Clear up any confusion you got quicker than antibiotics on a burning case of the clap. <laughs> what do I say to her? Well, now that's kind of tough to say. You know, a woman can be in any assortment of moods, but I'll tell you something that's worked for me from time to time. I just say, uh, I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see you. How many of those you had today? It's even tougher to say. <laughs> we need to talk about this. Hayes. Hello? Damn it. Told you, Carl. Boy, ain't no good. Don't start. Hey, what are you doing here? I told you I'd come down, didn't I? Yes, you did. Well, can I get you something? Yeah, yeah, uh, beer would be great. Okay. Bubs, this is Mr. Brownlee. Mr. Brownlee, Bubs. How you doing, sir? What well, kind of name is Bub? I guess, uh, some place we can talk. Yeah, yeah. Look, um, I don't know what the situation's like between you and Hayes, but uh, the other night, that there might have been something there, and I just wanted to see if you maybe wanted to go out with me or something sometime. Bubs, I had a good time with you, too. But Hayes and I have been together for a long time. And it's just, I don't know. Cool, I just, uh, I just had to ask how long. Is he around, all right? Wait, you don't have to go. I got somewhere to be. Hey, you gonna finish that? Uh, uh no, it's, uh, it's, it's all you. Yeah, my life. Have you been going down there? What? Where did you get these? Did he give them to you? He going through my stuff. Answer me. No, they're not from him, all right? Jesus. What well, if they were? Why would that be so bad? I don't want him hurting you the way he hurt me, and you know that. A long time ago, Ma. Maybe he's changed. People like that don't change. Frank is a selfish old man who doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. Did you ever think that Bugs, maybe? he started something that he couldn't finish. Family. He left us, your grandmother and I, to fend for ourselves. And for what? So he could run around and have a good time? His life is not one worth living. Yeah? How do you know? I'm sorry? Look, Ma, I've been doing some thinking lately and... And what? You didn't get that or mine? Just let the machine pick it up. It's probably Corey anyway. What? She's been calling here all afternoon. Now, what were you going to say? What were you going to say? Corey? How'd you know it was me? Well, Mama told me. What's, what's going on? I broke up with Hayes. You did? Yeah. Why don't you come over and I'll tell you all about it. OK. Oh. Hey, Corey. Yeah, bub? I can't wait to see you. So if you like me, why'd you turn me down? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the fact that you're my brother's best friend. 
for that until a couple of days ago. My unblemished record of never cheating on a boyfriend and was blown out of the water. Yeah, you put it like that. <laughs> we know we gotta tell Kenny, right? Yeah, but, um, let me do it, right? I wonder how he's gonna take it. How today? <laughs> Not so well. A lot of yelling, screaming. Been together a long time, you know? Do you know why I like you? You're not like him. You're calm, rational. Well, huh? <sighs> Bubs, I'm serious. You think things out and I appreciate that. With him, it was not like that. He never, um, did anything, did he? Next week. Hey, so, uh, how'd it go the other night with old girl? <laughs> Anna. Great. I'll spare you the details, but, uh, fried chicken and a powder was involved. <laughs> you remember the names now, I'm impressed. You call? Hey, I remember her name, but let's not start talking crazy, all right? <laughs> Kenny, what happens when you run out of girls around here? Man, we'll burn that bridge when we come across it, brother. <laughs> What about you? You boned out pretty quick last night. Thought you found some yourself. But did you do something last night? You know you can tell me if you went hogging. Everybody got a ham on or two in their closet. I didn't go hogging, man. So what's up, man? Night at the bar, uh, I ended up giving your sister a ride home. So when we got there, uh, Things happen. We're both in a weird place, and we uh, sort of got together. What the fuck does that mean? We did? Like that? I'm just saying you want to take a shot at me. Maybe they're spank books. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Who knows? Could have some of those National Geographic pictures in there, you know, with the ones hanging down their knees. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, it could be anything. It could be a, a hobby, a collection, or just something you're interested in. Kenny interested in anything like this? If it ain't got tips for basketball, Kenny ain't gonna hey, read it. Don't confuse your perversions for my sons, all right? Oh, I am not, sir. You see, I am an ass man who loves NASCAR. Trigger play. I'm just worried because I think they're from Frank. Well, what does Bub say? That they're not. But I don't know that I believe him. Well, maybe I'm stating the obvious, but have you tried talking to Frank about this? She ain't talked to him in over 20 years, numb nuts. Why would she start now? It's true. Well, everything except the numb nuts thing. Well, call Grant. He's down there. He knows what's going on. You might be able to clear things up. You all know what I do in stressful times like these. And I will be outside if you want to join me. Right out there. Mary, Mary, Mary. Now you've come too far to be taking the ass backwards advice of that clown. Yeah. Two on these, you get the itch. They help me. You mean like the tourists? Those came out of the Salvation Army box. What? Yeah, the donation box here in my office. We put all kinds of stuff in there. Sometimes Bubs digs through it. And he takes what he wants. You know, I've been pulling books out of there for a while. Really? And you're sure that there's no way that Frank Mary, could have... Mary, I know every single person who's put anything in that box. I guarantee you, Frank is not one of them. Well, OK. Thanks, Grant. Sorry right. to bother you. All right, goodbye. What was it that I explicitly asked you not to get me involved in? What? What? That was your mom on the phone. Grant, look, man, that's... Don't Grant look me. 
Whatever it is you're no, doing, I'm not even doing I anything. don't care. Stop doing it. What? You done here? No, we're not done here. Payday. Thanks. Buy yourself some decent britches. Let's take a look at the crack of your ass every day. You don't see the crack of my ass every day, do you? So, how's the little lady? Good. <laughs> Jim, I can't say the same for her brother. Nah, give him time, he'll come around. Yeah, I hope so. Hey, can I ask you something? Mm-hmm. What do you think about her being, uh, black? <laughs> not a damn thing. Uh, some folks may get their panties in a pinch about that shit, but not me. I courted many a woman. They came in every shape, shade, size. Not to mention position. <laughs> you know what really matters, and this is all it does, is what you think about it. I think she's great. Well, fuck everybody. You love her? Shit, Frank, I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, you do. You like being with her. You miss her when she's gone. You dream about her at night. Sure, I guess. Well, let her know, for Christ's sake. Yeah, but Frank, man, the girls these days. Listen, son, procrastination's like masturbation. It's fun while you're doing it, but in the end, you're just fucking yourself. Besides, what's the worst could happen? You don't say it back. At least you'll know me. I tell everybody I love them. <laughs> At least you know me all fucked up. <laughs> Touche. You ever tell my mama you love me? A long time ago. It was my birthday, and her and her mom saved up to get me this, uh, this gift. What was it? Ah, it don't matter. I left the next day. Wasn't cut out to be no father. I told your grandmama that, and she thought I'd change. You sure I'd try? I'd leave, come back, try again. But C was my first love. It just kept calling me back. You ever think about trying to make things right? Every day. Why don't you? Nah, it's just too late. But always try. What's the worst that can happen, right? Out of every guy in this fucking town, you gotta go and pick him? Yeah, why not? First of all, he's, well, you know. What, white? Well, yeah. He is white. You stay out of this. And you, don't even start. You've been with a ton of white girls before. At least Bub's got all his teeth. <laughs> ha, 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 motherfucker. Keep it up and you might be missing a few. That ain't even what this is about, though, is it? What happened to Hayes, huh? You just up and dump a brother because Bub's all of a sudden get single? You and Daddy never even liked Hayes. Neither did I. I'm done. What does it matter who I'm with anyway? We grew up with the kid. It just, it's just fucking awkward. Awkward? No. There's got to be more to it. He's my best friend, Corey. For the past couple years, he's been tied up with that bitch. You know how it is when you're with someone. Your friends are your friends, but they ain't at the same time. Now I finally got my boy back, my role dog, my partner in crime, and my own sister just yanks him off the streets again. It's like I never had a chance. I'm not gonna keep him away from you if that's what you're worried about. It's not the same. This isn't just some fling. We like each other. I think we always have. What? It ain't like either of us knew. And if we had, we wouldn't have done anything out of respect for you. But times change, things happen. And for some reason, this makes sense. At least to us. In fact, it should to you too. The fuck it should? Kenny, I'm on your side. I know how y'all are, and I ain't trying to change that. What other girl would even know where to start with you two? She right, you know. Sorry, now I'm done. Thanks. Where have you been talking to Grant? I was worried, OK? I'm sorry. I mean, between you and Jess breaking up and Frank coming back, a difficult time. He's fine, Ma. Good. I've been seeing someone. It's been a couple of weeks now. What? Who? Corey. Jim's girl. <laughs> what? You sure know how to keep things interesting. I'll give you that. 
This is real. I'm sorry. Are you happy? Because you know that's all that matters. I am, Ashley. And so am I. I think this belongs to you. Just split. I thought we'd finally move out and get that place we talked about. You know, pimp it out. Throw some barbecue. Pull a box like we ran us a U-Haul. Just got bummed I didn't get to bring it up before you moved on to my sister. No pun intended. I had no idea, man. How could you? So hit me with it. How long has it been like this? Long time. And you never felt like saying shit? What the hell was I supposed to say? Kenny, you know, your sister I've grown up with my whole life. Yeah, well, I think she's hot. Was that so bad? Yeah, man, it was. Pussy. But if you liked it, you should have told me. I might not have been trying to hear it, but I would have listened. Then what? I got over it. Lord knows I like you a hell of a lot better than that morose motherfucker Hayes. More than that, Ken. I think I love her. You know what? I can dig it. Yeah? Yeah. I told him about this thing at the bar a couple weeks back. When you was asking about leaving and shit. What the hell was that? Nothing. Didn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, man. Good. Because if you're with Corey, then you're with her. Ain't no half ass in it. You do her wrong, you fuck her over, you're doing the same to us. And speaking of us, we still got to kick it. I don't want you pulling that disappearing act like you did with Jess, all right? All right. So we cool? Yeah. As long as you pass that shit back. Frank, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what are those? Something for Millie. Something going on with you, Miss Jenkins? That Millie's last name. <laughs> Shit. No wonder Rob don't like me calling her hot pants. You know they're engaged, right? Yeah. Yeah. Rub, you know I've never been missed. What? Yeah. My recollection, nobody's ever missed me. I'm sorry for you, sir. No, no. I just... Forget it. Hey, you sure you want to... Maybe that's the answer, bubs. Think he misses me? I doubt it. Oh, well. He just lost. Bub, you ever... Wonder how similar folks can be so different all at the same time. Frank, I think you need to go to bed. No, right? no, no. I'm trying to talk to you here, son. Well, now take me and you, for example. We alike in a lot of ways, except for our love. You, you've always been luckier in love. You got friends and family that care about you. Lady on your arm to boot. Me, hey, uh, I've been with more women than I care to remember, but can't forget all the time I spent alone. I've been lucky in life, though. While you were stuck here, I've danced and drank, ate, OD'd, cheated death and taxes. I've run from the law, gone straight, and run again. I've seen shit so scary, crap your shorts. Sights are beautiful and make you want to cry. Kicker is, 
We're both intrigued by the other, which makes me think that the answer's a little bit of both. You know, Bubs, you can see everything in the world, but you ain't got nobody to share it with. It just ain't worth a hell of a lot, you know? It just, just ain't worth a hell of a lot. It just ain't worth a hell of a lot. down here a while, huh? Yeah, you know, uh, Grant gave me my first job when I was 14. Been working for him ever since. Ever think about what's next? You mean like job more? Yeah, that. Or living with your mama wife. <laughs> That's what this is about, isn't it? I bet she still does your laundry, huh? Yeah, but only because she does such a kick-ass job. Let me smell this. Please, I'd rather not. <laughs> so, is it financially something? No, I, I got a little tucked away. In what? It's Ma. She, uh, she needs me. She's been left by, uh, by everyone she's ever cared about. Frank left when she was little, her older sister passed in grade school, followed by her mama a little later. Top it all off, my piece of shit, father ran off to Pensacola to be with some waitress. She can't do it to her own. I'm only talking about moving out of the house, bub. Yeah, but what if I'm not? What? Ever since I was little, I'd uh, come down here and watch the boats take off, just, uh, just wishing I was on one of them. Didn't matter where I was going, just uh, as long as I was leaving. You still think like that? Oh, yeah. Don't you? No. Really? You never thought about getting out, seeing someplace new, you're Fine working in that bar every night, getting shit tips if you get tipped at all. It's not perfect, but it's work. And it's a lot more than some can say. Besides, what would I do someplace else? Anything you want, Cora. Old dirt road runs around the lake. It don't matter where you go, cause it's town. Safe. Everybody knows everybody else. The only bar around. Anyone worth talking to is filling up on the way through town. Lived in the same house all my life. Sit on this bar stool and watch the same fights. I'm sick of the same damn view. The broken down school. Blind man might see the beauty. But he got some news for you. I don't need no more. I don't need to go anywhere. Lock the door behind you. Jesus, the hell happened in here? Hey, you okay? Corey, what, what happened? He was here when I got home. Who was? Hayes. Hayes was here? Tonight? Let me see that. Tell me what happened. Bubs, I Tell me! He used the spare key to get in. He'd been drinking and wanted to talk and try and patch things up. I told him I was with you now, and he flipped. But he, would he hit you? Oh, that motherfucker. But no. That's not what I want. Well, then give a shit right now, all right? Well, you should if you want to stay with me. 
There's a reason I'm with you and not him. Wait, I am not about to let this slide. Bubs, I want to be with you. But you do this and we're done. You learn the guitar. I think I saw some old Waylon in there, too. All these scribbles and shit. Nah, I got it used. <laughs> Thanks, Bubs. I appreciate it. Frank, what if something happened to somebody you cared about? And it wasn't something that should be gotten away with, but the person it happened to didn't want you to do nothing about it. Wouldn't you do it anyway? If this is about me, I'm lost. Corey's old boyfriend got drunk and uh, roughed her up. Jesus. Yeah. The thing is, she don't want me doing nothing about it, including telling her brother. Why the hell not? I don't know, since she's with me because I'm not like him and it's over and I should just let it be? Yeah, maybe you should. Can I? This fucking guy I can't deal gets bombed, beats her up, and it's okay? I mean, what kind of boyfriend does that make me? One that listens. <laughs> Wait. Bubs, it comes down to three things. What your head says, what your heart says, and what your gut says. My head says to go along because I don't want to lose her. My heart doesn't say shit, it just hurts, and my gut is a beat his goddamn ass. Now, if you want things to say the same, you better listen to your head. What did you say? You know, I've been in fights all my life. Whether I woke up with a busted fist or busted face, I can't remember anything ever turning out for the better. But on the other hand, in my experience, folks usually get what's coming to them. I say, go and talk to this guy. Tell him the only reason you're not sending his teeth down his throat is because she asked you not to, but there ain't gonna be a next time. If you can't understand that, then uh, you listen to your gut. <clears throat> I need to talk to you. Go inside. Look, I know, all right? The only reason I ain't fucking you up right now is because you begged me not to. I hear you've been anywhere near. It's on. Reason you ain't doing shit ain't because of Corey. It's because you a bitch. Just stay away from her, asshole. Ain't like it's the first time. But I'm sure she told you all about that, right? And that's the truth. And that's why I don't cook bacon naked no more. Yet another reason never to eat breakfast with Gary. I can show you the scar if you want, right here. No! Oh. All right. What the hell happened to you? Oh, uh, <clears throat> work. Hey, what can I get you, sweetheart? Nothing. I need to talk to Bubs right now, outside. Oh, you're in trouble now. Ow. Don't! Don called and told me everything. He's an asshole, right? He's had it coming. If it wasn't me, it'd have been somebody else. Then why not let them do it? Because I care about you, that's why. What he did, I had to. You didn't! Yes, Corey, I did. Even after promising me you wouldn't? <laughs> I had every intention of just talking to him, all right? That was until I found out the truth. I was trying to protect you. From what? Bub, stuff like that can mess with your head. I could have handled it. I also didn't want you thinking differently about me. Like I was broken or something. The only thing making me think differently is the fact that you lied. Guess that makes us even then, huh? Corey, he needed to know that shit was wrong, and now he does. If not for you, for every other girl that dickhead dates. I'm glad I did it. I'd fucking do it again. You know why I liked you? It's because I thought you were different. Different than most guys around here, and definitely different than Hayes. But I guess I was wrong. My eyes are so tired, my body and soul feel empty. You know, just look at it like this. Now you're free to meet someone new. 
Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, no, 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 it's on me. You know, Jess, ever since high school, Here I always... Here you go. a shot. Day? What do you care? Corey and I had a fight. I uh, think we might be breaking up, actually. Must be something going around. So did Aaron and I. Really? What happened? Well, you were right. He ain't moving to Tampa. He said he just liked the way I shook mm. my... Got it. But mostly, he said that folks like him and I don't stay together. Folks like who? Folks like him with money and folks like... Us? That rich fucking bitch. You know, just because we ain't got what he's got, he thinks he can judge us? Fuck him, you're better off. You said us. Hmm? You said us. Is, is that still how you think of you and me? I don't know, Jess. It just, uh, just came out. I know I don't want anyone doing you wrong, though. Even after? Even after. Fuck that! You should have told me! I thought I could handle it. You thought? Cor, I'm your brother. How can I help you if I don't know? I'm sorry, Ken. You know what? You can't be mad at Bubs no more. Like hell, I can't. That's what relationships are all about. If someone asks you not to do something, you don't say you won't, then turn around and do it anyway. Hey, all I know, he done what any guy in his shoes would have done. That's the problem. I don't want a guy like that. I want a guy that can use his head for a change. Yeah, well, good luck finding that. You know what I mean. Well, I disagree. You do, huh? Well, let me ask you something. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know. Sure you do, because I've done the same fucking thing, and you know this. So if you're mad at him, you have to be mad at me, too. Why? Why is that always the answer with you guys? I don't know, Corey. It just is. A motherfucker does something like that, got a heap of shitty karma coming their way, and I'm glad somebody fucking gave it to him. This man ain't getting my licks in. Unbelievable. Look, I appreciate what you're saying, but you have to understand where he's coming from. He found out someone hurt his girl, the one he grew up his whole life with, the one he's been crushing on forever but had to keep it a secret, the one that knows every embarrassing thing about him but still wants to kick it, the one he loves. What? It's true. He told me. What do you think he is? What are you doing? I wanted to talk to you without Joe all hovering around. Did he come into the guy shitter? I've missed you, Bugs. Jess. Look, this ain't the drinks talking, so just hear me out, all right? I've said some terrible things, and I'm sorry. It's not where you are, it's where you're going. And when you get to where you're going, you'll have done it all by yourself, which is a hell of a lot more than Aaron can say. This whole experience has put things into perspective for me. I want you back. Look, Jess, I appreciate you saying all this. I do. But I'm with Corey now. You know that. Are you, Bucks? I mean, don't you think it's kind of funny us both ending up here tonight? These kinds of things happen for a reason, you know? It's a small town. Let's not read too much into it, all right? You can't tell me that it wouldn't be nice to be with somebody that understands right now. No, I mean, yeah, it would, I guess. Well, who understands better than us? I mean, we know what we like and we know what we don't. I say we start with right now and take it from there. Okay. 
Where is he? Actually, he's right there. Corey, Corey, wait, wait, wait. We had just stopped. That wasn't what, what it... What? It looked like? You know what? It's fine. Whatever happened in there can stay in there. Because we weren't going to work out anyway. Corey, wait, look... Uh, this whole thing was doomed from the beginning. So let's just chalk it up to what it is. A mistake. Stop wasting each other's time. We're not a waste of my time. We're two completely different people, bubs. Let's face it, we're not a good fit. How can you say that after after everything? We want different things, and that's never going to change. Like what? what? What are you even talking about? Leave him, bub. That's what I'm talking about. Corey, there was just talk. I got no plans to do nothing. Yeah, for right now. But what about next month? Or six months from now? Or next year? That's not something I'm thinking about, because I'm in no position to do it. Corey. Corey. I love you. I know. These kinds of things happen for a reason. Jess, fuck off. I don't, don't know nothing about no postcards. You're sure? I mean, maybe if I come down there and show Mary. Mary, they did not come from here, honey. Okay? Okay, thanks. Kenny, look, man. What the fuck I tell you? Man, it ain't what it fucking looks you like. You wanna get beat? Keep lying. I thought I laid it out pretty clear. Did I not? Kenny, I... Shut up! I told you. You fuck over her, you fucking over us. Well, you done fucked up. You done broke every rule in the goddamn book. Made me choose side. My advice to you, you thought about leaving once, do it again. Because me and Corey, we done with you. Now get the fuck off my lawn. I told you, boy, I think my rambling days are done. Why now all of a sudden? Seventy years old, I hardly call that all of a sudden. What's going on, anyway? Some of you are thinking about taking off. I want to go with you. About your lady? Long story. <laughs> Listen to your gut, huh? Yeah, then so. Well, I never vouch for listening to your bowels. They don't do nothing but talk shit. What's the matter with this place, bubs? Call it the Sunshine State for nothing. I'm just tired of waking up every day the same old shit, you know? Never seeing nothing new, hoping well, one day it'll all be different. No, I told you, Bubs. I'm through with all that. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting on up there. Frank, you said you could see everything in the world, but it didn't mean nothing if you couldn't share it with somebody. I said that? <laughs> it's been bombed out of my gourd. Point being, share with me. I mean, I, I know that sounds weird, but let's do it. Grandfather, grandson, one big trip. Yeah, I don't know. Look, it's, it's hard growing up with a single mom, all right? I mean, they try, but they can't teach everything. And that's where you came in. Me? Yeah, you taught me how to, how to cuss and, and that grill a steak, how to, how to sail this boat and, and throw a punch, how to change my own oil, and a thousand other things every guy should know. I wasn't around that much. Yeah, it was still 100% more than my father. Look, I, I just want you to know that I appreciate it, and I was hoping we could do some more of that. What did your mama say about that? Nothing. Ain't told yet. Well, sorry, son. This conversation's over to you, dude. Well, Frank, man, you understand. Listen, bubs, we both know that she don't even like you down here. Much less talking about this kind of shit. I'm not saying I won't think about it, but not till you talk to her. That's something I just can't do. Mom, I need to talk to you about something. What are these? They're from him, aren't they? Yeah, but it's not what you... There think. are no buts. We are talking about this. I'm leaving, Mom. With him. What? What about Corey and work? You broke up and it's... It's time. But you promised... I never promised, all right? I'm stuck here. I, I, I need to know what's out there. No. Been... What do you mean, no? I am your mother, and I am saying no. You can't go. Well, I'm telling you I am. You don't know him like I know him. You're right, I know him better. 
He will leave everything, including you, if the situation gets a little too... He wouldn't do that to me. Trust me, he would. His is not the sort of life worth living. Well, at least he lives his. Excuse me? Mama, you've been burned, all right? I get that. But you stop living your life because of it. You're afraid of letting anyone in or out because of what might happen, and you can't forgive Frank for something happened over 20 years ago. He left, Bubs. It's unforgivable, I know. Especially if you never give the man a chance. How dare you? Because you need to hear it, all right? You know I stuck around this long? It's because I felt sorry for you. I was worried what you might do if I left, but I don't care. I'm leaving. I just want you to know. Woman, Rob's gonna find out we keep up this sort of schedule. I can see you ain't changed a bit. Surprised you still got that. Why wouldn't I? My daughter gave it to me. Yeah, well, listen, I just came down here to say one thing, and then I'll let you get back to doing whatever it is that you do. Tell Bubs he can't go. Listen, Mary. Save I... it. I don't care what you tell him as long as he stays. Look, Mary. I ain't asking Frank. Why do you think he comes down here? Because he's looking for something. Something bigger than himself, bigger than this town, bigger than us. How do you know? Look where he works. Here in this marina where folks come and go every day, so why talk to me? I've been asking myself that for years. It's because I've lived my life different than everybody, Mary. He's unhappy. But he won't do nothing about it because he's afraid of hurting you. No, he ain't. He told me today he is leaving with you. Well, I haven't said a word. Like hell you didn't. Mary, you had to have seen this coming. It was inevitable. Not until you came along, giving him postcards and filling his head with God knows what. Undermining everything that I have done. Why? It didn't hurt me enough so you got to go through my son. All I have ever done is tried to show him that there's more out there than just this. What is wrong with this? This is his home. This is stifling him, Mary. You're stifling him. I'm sorry. You're holding him back. By keeping what's left of this family together? No, by God, by not letting go. He is all I have. Mary. What are you so afraid of? Him turning into you? Selfish son of a bitch that's run from anything resembling a responsibility his whole life. Someone who didn't know a good thing when he had it. And someone, because he's lived alone, is gonna die alone. Now, Frank, if you've ever thought about us, if you've ever cared at all, You'll do this for me now, and you will tell Bubs he can't go. Oh, come on, Millie. You think I'm some kind of a fool? I know what kind of undershorts I wear. And these ain't them. Son of a bitch. Last Frank started wearing drawers. He doesn't. It was a gift. Guess you can't teach old dogs new tricks. Guess not. Nobody's talking. The air is filled with time and the jukebox is broken. I'm bothered with your dime. Neon. 
sounds fade The records, they're all the same Bottles used to cut deep They've lost their edge And my sky's turning gray My eyes are turning red And my mind set On the night I decided to stay cold in this house when the weather gets in and my thoughts are like ice whiskey's in my skin and I lay in old dreams and slowly I fade out and the curse of a drunk is he'll go home alone meet me out back at five meet you there get stoned and we'll talk about Deep, they've lost their edge, and my sky's turning gray. My eyes are turning red, and my mind set on the night I decided to stay. I don't know why he came back. I really don't. At least he picked a different slip, the son of a bitch. I'm telling you, Millie, if I even see him around. Wrong. You're lucky I love you so much. Because other guys... Can we talk about this outside, please? Hey, Frank. I need to talk to you. Look, Grant, before you say anything, I got in a beef for Rob and Millie. I saw a couple empty slips back here, so I decided just to move my boat around. Hey, what did I hear about, Frank? Rent due already? Shit, what month is this? No, I mean, Frank, I wouldn't give a shit. A guy like you, every February you pay your slip fees for the year, paying cash, whatever it is you do, you do it well enough where I ain't gotta hear about it. You know, aside from a dumpster full of beer cans, some neighborly infidelity, and a daughter who bugs the shit out of me every time she thinks you're corrupting her son. I mean, you're just about the best tenant I ever had, Frank. What's the married? I'm talking, not just about Mary, about Bubs, too. Whether you like it or not, you're a part of their lives, Frank. You ain't got Yeah, that. I do. You get right with them, both of them, Frank. I'll kick you out of my marina for good. Have a nice day. Mind if I sit down? No, have a seat. Know anything about some nicotine patches being left on my porch? Outside of the fact that you ain't using them, no. Miss you around the store. Yeah, I've been busy. Gary giving you a hard time? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, without you there to bust him on crap, he's regressed to saying nothing at all. <laughs> well, maybe I should stay away there. Well, I wish the hell you wouldn't. Hey, Kenny. Hey. I'm going to holler at you later, all right? Yeah, that's the same about them. How's he holding up? I don't know. I've been finding all sorts of stuff in his room. Just today, I found an ad for a job in Key West with a start date of less than two weeks away. I don't want to tell you your business, Mary, but snooping around the boy's room, that ain't right. He won't talk to me. It's the only way I know what's going on. Well, that's just the way guys are. Believe it or not, we do have some things brewing up here. Most of the time, we work it out on our own, but it's those things that we actually say, if we decide to say them, that you should be paying attention to. I'm just worried. Before people leave, they give off this cold, distant feeling like they're severing ties with you. Frank did it. Bub's father did it. And now Bub's is doing it. Mary, these kids can't stay under our roof forever. 
We do the best we can with what we got, and we turn them loose. But they come back. They always do. That's why they call it home. Now, see, you might think that once he leaves, you're going to be all alone. But that ain't the case. I have and I always will be right across the street. I'll talk to you later. Hey, bye, bye. Shut up. Did I say anything? No, but I can feel your look. Damn, Cora, this place is off the chain. Don't like it? Go somewhere else. He's on this fucking round. Kenny, over the past two years I've been here, you've never come down once. And over the past month, you've been here nearly every night. Bitching, whining, and not tipping worth a damn. The fuck are you talking about? He never tips. Don't worry about him. He came with the bot. Hate to say it, but you're getting on our nerves. Our nerves? First of all, Corey, we family. We supposed to get on each other's goddamn nerves. And second, I'm just trying to help you out. You know, bring some young clientele in here. Maybe turn this bitch out. We think you're hiding. We? What? From who? Hey, I can give a shit about him, all right? Look, I'm just trying to be a good brother and help you out in your time of need. Look, I appreciate you being here in my time of need, but we both know this ain't where you want to be. Bubs is your boy, and y'all go back before I can remember. And it'd be pretty stupid to throw that away because of something that happened between he and I. Did you wrong, Cora? He's also your family, too. And it's like you said, we're supposed to get on your goddamn nerves. I'm going to kick your ass, Prey. All right, but no pulling hair this time. Stay away from my Millie, fucker. Eat shit, jackass. Yeah, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Break it up. Break it up, you pussy. I am what I eat. Stop, stop. Jesus, man, go home. Go home. What are you doing? Fixed to give him a lesson in street fighting. You know that sissy tried to bite me? Sit around, oh, Frank. Look, look, bubs. Uh, listen, I wanted to apologize. For what? I having the balls to tell me no to my face? Look, son, I know that you... That's your goddamn got... son, all right? I ain't mad, I'm pissed. Here I was talking to you like you gave a damn, only get shit on like some kind of fucking chump. What about Millie, huh? I what lines you fed her, but you had to wrap her in your finger. Did you have the decency to be straight up with either of us? No. You just left in the night like a little bitch. Now, Mama was right. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Listen, you don't know every goddamn thing. I got reasons for doing what I did. Oh, yeah? What are they? That's what I thought. Look, I, I never meant to hurt you, boy. You're the only friend that I... <laughs> friend? <laughs> you know what friends are, Frank? They're reliable. They're there when you need them. They'll tell you the truth when no one else will. You can confide in them, and they won't use that shit against you. But you've never been that to anybody, old man, so fuck off! hit like a bitch. <laughs> Dropped your ass, didn't I? My bad, man. She happens every day, and Lord knows I ain't no saint. Oh, man. It's my fault. A great thing going on. I fucked it up. Yeah. But I turned my back on you without hearing you out. Ain't no need for that. Look. We go back since we were terrorizing the block on Big Wheel. Sharing yours, at least. And not for nothing. You and Corey make sense to me. Yeah? I ain't blind. You two go from zero to 60 the second the other one walks in the room. Why you think I brought her out that night? What? Well, for as long as I've known you, you've always been looking off someplace else. Without Jess, 
Thought you might act on it. It depressed me. So I told Cora to meet us out that evening. Figured if she can't distract you, no one could. She was with hate. <laughs> Any time away from that motherfucker, it's time well spent. What are you trying to do? Cheer you up. Get your mind off whatever it was on. Didn't think what happened would happen, but it did. I'm glad it did, if only for a minute. Appreciate that, man. So when you taking off, it's time. You know it, I know it, we all fucking know it. Got nothing holding you back no more. Do what you got to do, man, and tell us all about it when you get back. We'll be here for you. You have a call about the deckhand position? Thanks. Double or nothing. One week, she smokes, I lose, you win. That is, if you're a gang. OK, but as long as you promise not to leave us again. I promise. OK, that's fine. But that just means that the chili dog train won't be slowing down no time soon. A chick, 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 chick. All aboard! <laughs> chick, 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 chick. All aboard the chili dog train. <laughs> Gonna get a minute, fellas. It's all right, guys. You're right outside, you need us. I, uh, I need to talk to him, Mary. Well, why don't you? Ain't like you ever asked before. Tried. He won't see me. It's shocking. Mary, I'm asking for your help here. What have you ever done to... Look, I didn't know how much he meant to me till I couldn't see him no more, all right? Why, bubs? I mean, how did you guys even meet? Better yet, out of all the places that you could have gone, why'd you come back here? There was a time I wasn't doing too good. Money was a mess. I run my old lady off. The government was up my ass about some shit. I was drinking a hell of a lot more than I am now. I was thinking some really awful thoughts. I came back here because this is the only place I considered home. Not because I knew it as such, but because you did. I didn't really have a plan. Just thought we might run into each other by osmosis or... Anyway, one day I'm nursing a nasty hangover and I see this kid fishing off the dock by my boat. Couldn't have been more than 10, 12. Sitting there staring off. Sees me. Asked me what I'm looking at, I told him nothing. Asked him where his daddy was. He said he didn't know, but his mama worked up at the canoe shop. Name's Mary Wilson, you know her? I told him not really. Well, he sizes me up, tells me his name's Bubs. I ask if I'd like to fish with him. I told him sure. Every time I come back in, we'd find each other and do just exactly that. He uh, saved me from a really bad place, Mary. When did you tell him about me? Oh, early on. I just thought he should know. Well, Mary, I'm getting old. I'm, I'm tired of doing what I've done because I ain't got shit to show for it. I just want to get things right and... Yeah. Well, it's too late. You ain't... Oh, no, no, no. I'm talking about the boy. You know, you said you're afraid he's going to turn out like me. Well, I'm telling you that that ain't going to happen, Mary. And you know why? Because he's got you. The kid's head's on straight. The amount of talking I do is gonna change that. I mean, not that I was trying or nothing. So you talk, huh? What does he say? Ordinary stuff. Questions, mostly. He's just trying to get a wrangle on things like the rest of us. I will say this, though. 
keeping up with him's been good because it's it's let me keep up with you too. What would you want to do that for? You're uh You're still my daughter, Mary. Been a pain in the ass lately. Bugs. Yeah, I am. I'm trying to figure some things out, and I've been taking it out on you, and I'm, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm unhappy, Ma. I've been for a while. It ain't you, and it ain't Frank, and it ain't Corey. It's, it's me. I'm rotten here. This, this town, everything. I, I need a change. You have something in mind? For a deckhand job on a, on a private fishing boat. They take folks out, show them around. They go all over. They called and they said, uh, if I want it, the job's mine. So what's the problem? They run out of the keys and, uh, and have to report next week. Listen, Bubs, I've been a hypocrite. For years, I've been telling you how selfish Frank is when I've been guilty of worse. No, I don't know. He, he left just like you said he would. Only because I asked him to. What? I thought he was a bad influence, that he was the reason for everything. But I was wrong. You are your own person, and you are stronger than that. It's me that's, you no. know. No, don't, don't. I just thought if you stayed, everything would be OK. Well, that worked for me, but not for you unfair for you to have to deal with my past. I mean, it's something that I need to come to terms with. And you know, you have always had that wandering spirit, just like your grandfather. You needed something from him that I just couldn't give you. And you know what? I'm glad you found each other. Seems like it's done you both some good. So what I'm trying to say is if this is something that you need to do, I'm fine with it. But I need you to do something for me first. Taking off? Nah. Just cleaning. Pack this old girl to the gills over the years. Ain't getting rid of that, are you? No, no. In fact, that crack that book you gave me. Listen to this, I've been practicing. How was that? Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Keep practicing. You know, y'all were right about me. Frank, Mama that told me. That don't make any difference. I am selfish, always have been. You know, at the end of the day, it's how you treated folks that counts. I treated them like shit, and it shows. Banking on better late than never, because that's all I got left. I lived my life exactly how I wanted. I've enjoyed the spoils, there have been a few. But I've also burned a lot of bridges along the way. What I never intended to burn was one between me and you. Makes that same difference. You kept me connected. You kept me engaged. Shit. You kept me alive. It may sound corny as hell, but it reminded me a little good I done here. Mama, which led to you. Thank you for that. Show you my appreciation. I'm giving you my boat. What? She's yours, son. You deserve her. I, I, I can't take sure this. Sure you can. This, this is your home. This is, this is what you do. No, not anymore. I'm retiring. I got my story, son. You get yours. 
Taking the deckhand job, huh? Yeah, well, it was until uh, Frank gave me his boat. Frank gave you his boat? Bitch. Well, hell, I wouldn't take the job either. Hey, yo. Um, how'd you know about that deckhand thing? Now, who do you think I put that up on the board for, huh? Millie? In the books? Why didn't you ever say nothing? I just figured you'd get there on your own time. Besides, if I said something, would you have listened? Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Grant, I just want you to know I appreciate it. It was my pleasure. Take care of yourself, huh? Alright. Come on. We'll talk about this later. Hayes. Hayes? What? Folks show you how they are, Corey. Believe them. What are you doing here? I want to say goodbye. So tomorrow, huh? Yeah. Know where you're going? Got a couple ideas. Probably decide in the morning, though. You know when you'll be back? Yeah, I don't blame you. Corey, I just want to but say it. I know. Me too. This is a fight. I'm losing my This is a final act of my simple discreet life. Disappointment, love. Something carried on from places we dream of. How I miss those southern skylights. Dixie in the springtime on my mind. I couldn't wait to see you. I swear. <laughs> See you on board. Cool. Nicely done. Easy, old timer. All right, now times have changed since the last time you were behind the wheel, so let me stop at every bar along the way, all right? You had the truck two seconds, and you're already taking all the fun out. You do still have a valid license, don't you? All right, all right. I won't stop at any bars. <laughs> Frank, man, I just want you to know that. You're welcome, son. Thank you. Good, huh? <laughs> you know I won't. Like my daddy and my granddaddy have grown up in this town. He say, she say, before they know it, word gets around. See black is black and white is white. 
Who cares if they are wrong or who is right? True love conquers all, cause love is color blind. I think I'll take my chances cause I'm not afraid of storms They can blow you too far away Places I will keep you from any harm It's time for us to leave now It's time for us to go They say black is black And white is white Who cares if they are wrong is right true love conquers all cause love is color blind all down on the bayou the backyard is the goal lift off the land in the we had it wrong So if you think You've seen it all You ain't seen enough So come on down Where I'm born and raised Where I was born and raised Where I was born and raised Where I was born Still in the same state 